Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Good morning. Next I have is the approval of the agenda. I'll make a motion to approve today's agenda. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next is approval of last week's minutes. I'll move to approve last week's minutes. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion came. Motion approved. Excuse me. Next is the approval of claims for payment. And I'll make a motion to ap approve the claims for payment for this week. I'll second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We have 1002, and I will go ahead and open the public hearing on the Animal Feeding Operation Construction Permit, Zilski Finisher Farm, Section 10 of Buckeye Township. If anybody's here to speak on that. This is uh, Section 10 of Buckeye Township. Uh, it's two 2,500 head pit, deep pit swine finisher confinements for a new swine confinement facility. Any public comments? I will then close the public hearing and move to item number seven which is a recommendation on the Animal Feeding Operation Construction Permit, Zilski Finisher Farm, Section 10 of Buckeye Township. I'll move to, uh, the recommendation to send to the DNR on Animal Feeding Operation Construction Permit, um, Zilski's Finisher Farm, Section <coughs> 10, Buckeye Township. I'll second it. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Um, that's your recommending DNR approval. The DNR approval. Okay. Any other discussion? Hearing no more, all in favor say aye. 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 Most carries. Now we go to the emerg emergency management quarterly report. Roxanne. Thank you. Um, this report, um, of course, spans July through September of 2016. I'm just going to hit some of the subtitles. Each of you were given more of a detailed report. It's six pages long. I do not want to waste all your time on that. But, um, so basically, there are a couple of uh, pretty big projects that we completed this quarter. One is that the state and Homeland Security also <coughs> requires that um, each of us review and update at least 20% of our existing emergency operations county plan and submit that annually to their planners for review. Um, this quarter we actually submitted because we had gone through and updated our firefighting annex, our emergency management annex, our mass care and evacuation annex, and our hazardous materials annex has to be updated every year according to FCRA regulations, federal regulations. <coughs> uh, just a couple of the highlights, of course, the firefighter uh, annex, what it does is supports the uh, detection and suppression of wildland, rural, and urban fires, uh, resulting from or occurring coincidentally with an incident requiring a countywide coordinated response for assistance. Um, the emergency management chapter is a support function to collect, analyze, evaluate, compile, and share information about a potential or actual emergency or disaster to enhance response in the provision of recovery activities. The mass care and evacuation annex, which we just had done a full-scale uh, full exercise this quarter also that I will touch base on, was to um, talk about a mass care incident, how when it first starts, what happens. This chapter goes through then the recovery of it. Um, it also supports the emergency assistance, housing, and human service. Um, aspect of the mass care, it coordinates efforts to provide sheltering, feeding, and disaster welfare information following any disaster. And the hazardous materials, again, um, basically establishes the policies which the public and private organizations um, participating will operate in the event of a hazardous materials emergency. Um, another big project that we had actually started previously in some previous quarters and it's going to actually start really taking off is that every five years FEMA requires that we update 
our multi-jurisdictional mitigation plan. Um, it has to be a FEMA approved plan for anybody in Hardin County that wants to apply for mitigation grants. Um, these mitigation grants go to schools to provide safe rooms. They can go for dam and levee projects. They can go for a lot of projects. So the benefit is that we really do need to have a FEMA approved plan and ours was up because our five years. Um, we actually received a grant. I applied for a grant to help um, hire a contractor because this is a very time intensive uh, plan. It takes a lot of data, research, analysis, and since I'm the only staff in the office and I'm keeping operations going, it was just too much for me to do all at once. Um, so we got that grant, so we're getting funding to help pay for that contractor. And they will be coming in and we will start my board commission met last night and um, they took action and said we'll have our first kickoff meeting January um, with the contractor and bringing the communities together. I am looking for community support, even Justin, this is something for the news that um, it is open to the public if you want to be a part of talking about what kind of um, priorities you want to see in mitigation within our community. Um, we will publish those meetings and you are welcome to come and make comments and attend. I've asked um, just briefly, Cindy, I'm going to discuss it with her to see, be part of the planning team. So that's another big project that's taking off. Um, also this last quarter, there were some new regulations. Uh, President Obama signed in November of 2014 the reauthorization of the Child Care Development Block Grant. Um, what that did is it's a new federal law that requires child care providers to have an emergency preparedness plan and they have to have that plan by October 1st, 2016. Of course, we're past that deadline now, but what happened was, um, I don't know why that I wasn't contacted before then, but I was contacted by Child Care Resources um, to basically um, hold some instructional meetings with the child care providers to uh, provide them some templates, some ideas, and um, basically give them the structure and what they needed to do for those emergency plans for their center. Um, it was very well received. We held one and we had 25 care providers actually come and take part um, in helping them with their plans, and that's a good thing. Um, still working with, always working with Greenbelt Public Health, um, their initiatives on the public health side. We also had a very large full-scale um, exercise. We held that on August 27th. Uh, we, we had a lot of media coverage. Our media partners came out. We invited them to come out. They came out observed, and I think it was an eye-opener for everybody. We had about um, 150 total and a little bit more participants between the response agencies, um, the school, and uh, communities who came in and helped um, be a part of the role playing because it takes a lot of people to, to uh, basically simulate a mass casualty incident. Um, just to just earmark it, what we did was um, we had planned a scenario whereas it was a Friday night football game um, and this could very well happen and um, there was a, a vehicle out of control. It crashes into a set of bleachers that is completely full and occupied. And um, that was what the impetus was for our mass casualty incidents. So it tested our responders and our plans. Um, we took a lot away from it that we will be working on this year, moving forward on um, some more training and filling those gaps that we found. Um, also did a couple of other small drills, but um, as I said, it's detailed, and I will ask the board if they have any questions about the last quarter. I don't. No, nope, I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll make a motion to accept the emergency management quarterly report. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? I have, did go out to the... The, the drill. The drill, <laughs> yes, thank you, at the school. And it was it was really kind of eye-opening mm -hmm. and interesting to see how everybody is supposed to work together. I thought it looked like everybody did a good job, but that's from a point of view that <laughs> I'm not that knowledgeable yeah, on. So. it did, but also the reason we hold those is just for that reason is that we're looking internally mm -hmm. to see that our policies and our uh, response and where little areas that we need to fill some of those gaps to make mm -hmm. us more efficient and uh, 
Yep. It's very much needed to do these exercises. It was very good. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next we have is an agreement to the amended exhibit to the Harding County Development Alliance Economic Development Agreement. Here a few months ago we made it as a motion, but we never really changed it in the uh, agreement itself. And this was to add 7,500, Seven. wasn't it? Right. We increased the, um, the amount we give to the Development Alliance from 30,000 to 37,500. It, um, it originally was budgeted for thirty thousand dollars, and we agreed to raise it seventy-five hundred dollars from the local option sales tax. Correct. Is that what you have in front of you? Mine yes. Mine it is thirty-seven five. I changed it. I thought I sent that to you. Okay. Okay. And then I added Mine a sentence with the additional seventy-five hundred to be paid from local option sales tax funds. I'm sorry. I'll I'll no, resend I'm that to you. I mean, I we can just sign one of these copies sure. then. Okay. Thank you. Maybe I, I probably didn't send it to you then, okay. or you'd have it. <laughs> so I'll make a motion to um, to approve the agreement to amend the Exhibit A to the Hardin County Development Alliance Economic Development Grant or Economic Development Agreement. And I'll second that. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Um, last time it was a two to one vote. I'll probably still stay my one <laughs> for sure. <laughs> I had my reasons, and it's. Um, then if this is approved, then we would need to also have this signed by the Iowa Falls Area Development Corporation Economic, or Eldora Economic Development Corporation and the Ackley Development Commission. Actually, Eldora's we could probably area. remove Eldora. Mm -hmm. We need to remove Eldora, so we can make that change too. So Iowa Falls and Ackley will have to approve this also. After I said it out loud, then I... Mm -hmm. Is there any other discussion? Hearing no more, I'll f let's do a roll call. Please. Um, Renee? Aye. Ron? Aye. Lance? Nay. Motion carries. So from there, I will go to the discussion of urban renewal plan. Jessica. So I reached out to Dorsey and Whitney to develop a plan for a company that has requested requested um, tax rebate from the county, and they already exist in the county. They're already in your urban renewal plan, but the person that I'm working with at Dorsey and Whitney needs you to make a few decisions, so I'm gonna get him on the phone if I can, and then he will let you know where the process is. Um, just, I, I hope I don't duplicate what he says, but first you have to amend your plan because we need to have the specific project in the plan to begin with because in 2012 they made it a change that the plan has to be very specific. We used to be very generic, now it has to be specific. So once the plan is amended, then you can have the ordinance changed to put this particular property back into taxation for um, TIF monies, and then you'll have a developer's agreement that you need to approve too. So there's like three steps that you have to do, and, and he's prepared to get them done very quickly for you, but he's just kind of held up on some decisions to be made that I can't make as the auditor. So I'm going to call him on the phone and he should be expecting our call and then I'll let him take over if that's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Okay. <coughs> I hope I know how to do this. <laughs> Incidentally, his name is Bob Justin. I don't think I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Dorsey Whitney. Hi, this is Jessica Lara, County Auditor in Hardin County. Is Bob Jostin available? Just one moment, please.
It is. I'm Justin. Hi, Bob. This is Jessica Lara, the county auditor in Hardin County. Good morning. How are you? All right. Good. I have three supervisors here, and they're at their regular board meeting, but um, I know we talked about putting it on the agenda to just go over a few things. I let them know that we have to amend the urban renewal plan to include specific projects now. And I let them know that we're going to have to have the ordinance to put the property back in for TIF taxation. And then that we also have a development agreement with the company that needs to have some decisions made as to what's going to be contained in that. And we record these and they're on YouTube, so just wanted to let you know that. And right. the supervisors that I have present are Ron Rickles, Renee McClellan, and Chairperson Lance Granzo. And you, you can have the floor. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, she has outlined accurately the steps that need to, actually the tasks that need to take place and, and uh, basically the order in which they need to take place in order to comply with the urban renewal law and to be able to enter into a development agreement we first have to start with the urban renewal plan and in uh, 2012 the state legislature amended the state urban renewal law to require that before the county can begin a new urban renewal project, it must amend its plan and identify, describe that project. We also, uh, because of what um, had been done earlier, need to amend the existing, what we call TIF ordinance, to add in a little <coughs> description of the property on which the project would be located. Neither of those is a difficult um, thing to do, but the process involves uh, what I would do at, at your direction is to prepare an amendment to the plan that describes the general nature of this project, and the uh, county then must set a date for a public hearing on the plan amendment. You must also notify the school district in which this property is located and give them an opportunity to become informed about the plan amendment. Uh, I don't recall, is this property located within two miles of the city limits of any city or no. is it farther away than two miles from any city? It's farther away. <coughs> All right. Now, and that's fine. If, if it were within two miles, we'd have to actually uh, not just notify but we'd have to go and get the city to sign off on it but we, that that's not a problem so that's the only form of notification to anybody uh, public or uh, publication of a notice of a public hearing and notification to the school district and then basically an invitation to representatives from the school district to uh, come and meet to discuss this plan amendment. That can be done, uh, the whole thing can take place basically within uh, two board meetings, but probably about a month apart. We need to be able to publish the notice, we need to be able to have this discussion with the school district at least two weeks before the board <coughs> holds its own public hearing. Uh, having done that, then the board can approve this urban renewal plan amendment and we can adopt an ordinance that includes the legal description <laughs> of the property on which the, the uh, project is going to be located. And then the board can or can ask me to prepare a, a development agreement and then we'd set a date for a hearing on that development agreement. So these are the things that, that have to happen in that kind of order in order to comply with the state urban renewal law, Chapter 403 of the Code of Iowa. <coughs> okay. Do we... 
do we just need to make motions and a motion to direct you to do that then or yes that's sufficient ultimately i'll prepare resolutions for you and and an ordinance but the the uh, board directive to me can be a simple motion yes what do you want that motion to say um, I would yeah just to direct direct you to to start the process to amend our urban renewal plan remember, yes that's what it is that's mm -hmm. exactly right okay and then do we need to address the ordinance at this at the same time or is that no I mean that uh, okay. it's all to, one, once we start that's what becomes uh, one that's of the next part of the process uh, other steps involved in there once we get it going all of that becomes that's part of the process, process. Um, I guess I don't know what anyone else thinks, but I would make the motion to amend, to direct um, Bob Justin to proceed with amending our our urban renewal plan. I'll second that. Been moved and seconded. Bob Justin in discussion. Are we using you or your company name? It's basically our law firm, Dorsey, Dorsey and Whitney. Whitney. I'll, I'll be doing the work, but it's the, you're, you're retaining the services of Dorsey and Whitney Law okay. Firm. Would you like to amend yes, that? Yes. That, that, thank you for, yes. for uh, clarifying that. I need a motion. Okay, I'll make a motion to amend my motion to state Dorsey and Whitney in place of Bob Justin. I will second that. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Motion is to replace Dorsey and Whitney in, in replace of Bob Johnston. Johnston. In, in the first motion. Any, okay. any more discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Is there any more discussion on the uh, motion to uh, direct Dorsey and Whitney to amend the urban renewal plan? Yes. Yeah. So we approved the amendment. Now we're approving the motion. I'm in the discussion on the motion itself. Yeah. Any, any discussion? No. Hearing no discussion, all in favor? Aye. Let's do a roll Aye. call. Oh. Renee? Aye. Ron? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Um, Bob, this is Jess Pilar again. Do they yep. need to set a date for anything while they're here? No. Okay. No, I, I need to prepare the the, the uh, draft of the plan amendment and the resolution, and then in that resolution they'll set the date for a hearing on okay. the amendment. So no, that that does not need to be done right now. Do you believe that this is an item that I should put on the agenda for next week then, or is that pushing you too fast? If if the board is ready to proceed with this, then we can put it on the agenda for next week for just amending the urban renewal plan yes. yes yep and setting the date for mm -hmm. step right one. yep okay for a hearing on it yep so i believe that's that fine. that i will put it on the agenda for next week then if that's okay with you bob yes that's fine all okay. right do any, we have any other questions anything else that you need to ask of them today while all three are here you and I have had a good conversation. I reviewed the, the materials you've sent me, and I, I don't have any other questions right now. Okay. But I will need to stay in touch with you as I prepare this material for next week. Yep. Just don't ask me to make decisions. <laughs> they don't pay me enough. I see. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thanks a lot. All thank right. Good you, to Bob. talk with you folks. You bet. Bye. Yep. Bye. -bye. Thank you. Uh, next I have is item 11, which is discussion on county owned property at 1309 11th Street, Eldora. We brought it up yesterday or last week at the meeting. I'm just kind of continuing a little bit more into it. I know Cindy's come up with some ideas also that you've emailed us. Um, 
I, I guess some of the things we got, we have a little bit of time to work on this. If, if we are going to budget for anything, the budget time's coming up in December, and I'd like to have this be able to take place around July of next year, whatever we decide to do. So I just want to keep open, keep everything open, and if we are looking at salvaging companies or uh, tearing it down or both, or even if people show interest in taking the house and wanting to relocate it, gives them a little bit of time the next month, month and a half while we're doing the budget. A few of the alternatives that Cindy sent us, uh, there's a derelict building program that uh, you might want to read through, uh, but it basically uh, deals with communities that uh, are 5,000 or less. The deadline for the grant uh, is uh, April 21st, 2017, so it would meet your, your, your time. Um, and it deals with recycling um, and reusing bu building materials. Uh, it's a landfill diversion pro program. Um, that is a decent alternative. Uh, so, I agree. Um, not a bad idea. No. Yeah, thanks for sending that to us. Yeah, thank you, Cindy. I did also reach out to somebody in Iowa Falls that I know has taken different pieces of, of uh, things in homes and that type of thing and, and refurbished them. So I know there was a concern from the <coughs> staff about significant items within the house that could be salvaged and I anticipate they might be reaching out to one of you just to get some more information on that. Okay. Okay. Interest there, so. Thank you. Good. That's all I had on that unless you had more. I don't have no. anything additional. Okay. From there, I will go to utility permits. Do you have? Is no, this from last, last week. week? That's last week. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have any? Okay. Because the only reason I know is because I did the same thing earlier. And ah. that, I thought that looked familiar. So, okay. Uh, no utility permits. Secondary roads. We're going to start hauling sand, get ready for the season. Down south for next year, raising intersections up for babies. So. Okay. Any other business? Hearing none, I can ask for adjournment. I will move to adjourn. I'll second it. Been moved, seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries, we're adjourned.